All right, let's take you into your leg lift here. So let's watch how you uh, uh, ride those hips down the mound. I think initially you start well, um, but then we're gonna watch this back knee here. I'm gonna circle it. Watch this back knee from here, holding a torsion position to as your, tr as your hips travel farther down the mound, it really starts just kind of collapsing in. You get right about there. And then you start shifting onto the toes. So this is a valgus back knee position. So you're kind of collapsing that back leg. And then you can see here your heels kind of coming up off the ground. You're shifting into your toe. Um, I really like what you're doing when you horizontally abduct. I like your counter rotation. I think you're doing a great job with the upper half. But this is kind of a, a poor load position. I'd like to see you sitting into more hip flexion here. I'd like to see you keeping that, that heel more down. I'd like to see you holding more torsion in the back knee. Uh, and then uh, getting your hips a little bit farther down the mound uh, as you're doing that. Uh, so as we go forward, um, so now you're going to start to open front foot and start to drive. But again, you're driving from that kind of collapsed valgus position. And it's really more of a, a rotation into front foot strike than it is a, a triple extension. But great job of delaying the shoulders. All right. Shoulders are closed. And this hip is pretty dang near fully open. Oops, I'm doing a terrible job with that. Bang. Those hips are fully open, which I really like. That's good separation. There might be a little bit, if we draw a line from this trunk, yeah, maybe a little bit of early trunk tilts. But still, pretty good job of, of uh, hip to shoulder separation. I just would have liked to see a better load position uh, and more power from the drive leg, uh, especially linear energy, uh, like a linear drive that would have powered you farther down the mound and powered those hips open. All right. So now let's go forward. All right. Forward, forward, forward. It looks like, I, again, this is kind of a tough angle, but it looks like your arm is riding really well with that trunk into external rotation. It doesn't look like there's any arm drag. Uh, let's go a little bit back. And then what I really love is your, uh, you do a pretty dang good job of front leg extension and forward trunk tilt right into pitch release. I think it could have been uh, a little bit quicker, uh, but not much man you do a great job of, of extending that front leg and getting that good forward trunk tilt so uh you know i think you do a lot of things really well here uh i think you do the front leg and the trunk money i think your weakness is kind of your back leg i think you could do a better job of uh uh loading that back leg sitting into your posterior chain sitting into flexion having a lower center of gravity uh riding your hips forward and down uh and then most importantly really driving and powering down the mound uh and powering your hip rotation that's going to get just more energy going through your kinematic sequence there's going to be more energy traveling through uh the back hip here uh there's going to be more energy that's going to link up the kinematic sequence from that. So uh, I think, uh, you know, you've got a really great frame. I think you could add some muscle mass, and I, I definitely think you could uh, get some improvements in that back wave drag. But overall, uh, uh, you know, pretty, pretty impressive set of mechanics here. Uh, just a few things that you need to work on, man.